What's good, y'all? Brie here. If you don't know, there's a trend on TikTok. It just hit Instagram. It is the beautiful and talented Mary Phillips doing her technique that she uses on Kendall Jenner, Hailey Bieber. I'm like the girl who was in that movie with the singing. I forget. Basically underpainting. But the way that she does this, the skin looks buttery smooth. Everything looks blended. Nothing is cake face. And that is the mood for me. But her clients ain't really black. So I wanted to come and just do a black girl version of Mary Phillips base routine. Let's get into it. Also to right now, just do it. Subscribe, thumbs this video up, hit the notifications bell, and let's get into it. <laughs> First you're gonna wanna prep the skin. Whatever moisturizer, a face oil. I know Mary does this just because you need to have a good foundation to lay the foundation. I put on a little bit of a Apoth and Co. They sent me some stuff so I just put on their brightening eye cream, moisturizer. This is a face oil. Now, I'm a brown girls, tan girls, light medium girls. If you tend to be oily, we're gonna do some powder prep here. I'm going to go in with my Refi powder. I tend to get shine. I kind of just want to lay down a little bit of powder to help control the shine. And this is the Refi powder in shade 01. This powder is a water-based powder. It's very lightweight on the skin, just mattifying my face. You ever just like get up and you're like, I wanna do makeup. That's what happened. What Mary does is she lays down the contour first. It's called underpainting. It's not a new technique, but a lot of people were like, hold up, wait a minute, what is this? Going in with Nude Sticks Tinted Blur, neutral, deep. What Mary does is she takes the product onto a brush, and we're going to really follow my bone structure. If I go like this, you could see my cheekbones sit a little high right there. By not drawing it directly onto my skin, I have a little bit more flexibility of how much product I use. Actually. Okay, nude sticks coming in with the chocolate. Always blend this down the neck. Because we want to create that shadow. Down, 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 down. She also brought it up into here. And she called it like laying the bones. She took a tiny brush, some nose contouring. Just going right in here. I really don't ever contour my nose, but we're doing what Mary did, okay? Mary, did you know your makeup technique would change the whole world? <laughs> so we've got that darker coming through. Please make sure your chin is blended, but no matter what, we're going to put foundation over top, so it's all right. What I'm going to do is go in with Rare Beauty. This is 420N. I take this as my concealer and place it kind of where we normally want to highlight. Go right underneath that, uh, where we lay that contour. Pop a little under the brow. And then I'm gonna use that same brush and just start to buff out everything. Yes, everything. Now, she used concealer. I'm just using a foundation that is a little bit lighter than my complexion right now. As you can see, like, just kind of blending everything out, my face is kind of taking form and shape. We're not blending it out to get rid of what we just did, but we want to Kind of blend them together, give it more seamless. Buff it up into the hairline. The, what do we think so far? Really nice. I'm gonna go in with my concealer, which is going to be lighter now. I really like the color of this. Nude sticks, this is bomb. I've had these for a while and I haven't used it, but very, very, very pretty coverage. Let's go in with 
I just dropped down the aperture a little bit. Going in, a little bit of a lighter concealer. NARS Chestnut. People are gonna be like, Mary Phillips did the concealer next. Like, but you, you kinda have to tailor make everything to how you like your makeup. So you know if you like your makeup a little brighter. You know when you like to add your concealer. Like, it's all up to you. You wanna pop a little on the eyes? Why not? And we're gonna let this dry down just a little bit. For me, I like the underpainting of the contouring really good. I actually tried to do like a little reel with um, Mary Phillips. And I did the concealer and then the foundation. And then I found myself going back in with concealer because. I didn't like how it wasn't bright enough so this is why I did foundation and now my concealer you kind of just have to tailor make it to what you think is gonna work for you there's no wrong answers here it's makeup and you're the one who's gonna be doing your makeup every day not Mary Phillips so there's that I take a sponge this is a dry sponge um, I used to do this all the time like using a dry beauty blender especially if you don't want it to soak up your product a lot. So I'm just going in with a dry beauty blender and just kind of starting to blend out that concealer. I'm just going to lift that concealer that we put into the mouth up and out. I'm, okay, the underpainting for the nose contour is a yeah. This is real nice. It blends way nicer and just gives me a little, little snatch. And we're going to just blend this. Oh yeah. That's my, y'all, that's a real buttery blend. That's nice. Didn't even have to use as much makeup. That's what people were saying. Like they felt like they had to use less makeup doing it this way. Going in with the same sponge, same refined powder. I'm just going to do a little bit of light setting, y'all. I still have to set, even if my clients are dry, I'm like, no, no, no. We, we don't have to use a lot. Just a little something very lightweight. Just to kind of tie everything in. Another setting powder I really like. Patrick Ta. This right here, y'all. So pretty. And I know Mary does setting on her clients too because they be under some hot lights. Beautiful complexion. This is what I really like about Mary Phillips makeup. Her style is very similar to mine where it's just kind of complimenting her clients' features without taking away, you know? their natural skin. Cream blush with a blush in. Okay, I'm going in with Wander Beauty. This is Nude Glow. It's got a highlighter on one side and then a blush on the other. What I'm gonna do is combine them. Put that right onto the skin. Those two? Oof, that's real pretty, y'all. Okay, for me, right, we gotta keep the blush high because I already have like cheekbones so if my blush gets a little low go back into the foundation I used and just kind of do like a little C blend that out a little bit so if, if that ever happens just a little concealer a little foundation it fixes it I'm gonna take a little bit more of the blush and just go up high onto the skin that highlights real real pretty and that's one thing mary does is she does use cream products she uses a cream highlight which just gives the skin that real real pretty finish i'm gonna just do mascara and a lip and we'll be right back all right y'all final look i feel like it is very similar to how i already do my makeup but the contour underneath gives a little bit more shaping and sculpting to my face. Everything else, like 
looks really good really flawless i just add a little bit of highlight on the tip of my nose under the brow a little um reezy gloss you know because it's just like that skin looks glowy skin looks luminous skin looks buttery again you can always go in if you need a little bit more powder you kind of cater it to your skin and how you know makeup holds but i think this is a really good beginner way to learn how to contour and highlight and then use your foundation last to really blend everything so there are no harsh lines because it's already blended like you put your foundation over top of everything makes it very easy and beginner friendly leaves the skin in a beautiful finish the cream blush and the highlight wander beauty like I've, I've had this stuff for a while I've just been busy and dealing with a lot so I'm just getting to use these products now but the skin is mm, yes Mary let me know if you like this because I'm thinking about starting a series of makeup like Kevin Long makeup like King Molly magic like just kind of using their techniques and bringing it to you guys just an easier way just to see if you want to apply your makeup like that too so give this video a thumbs up yeah my skin looks really good i wish i was going somewhere but i'm about to go sit on the couch and watch seinfeld thank you guys for watching make sure you subscribe make sure you hit the notifications bell so you don't miss another video with me and i will see you in my next one peace out Cub scouts